Well, it's been a year since a gas leak was discovered in Huntersville, and many people still don't know about what's become the largest leak in state history. And there are several efforts right now to change that. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger has been on this story since it broke last August. And Derek, one group is talking to, taking the news to people's doorsteps. Yes, they are. And they also have a rally that is planned for later on this month. Now, while that is happening, one Huntersville town leader has been trying for months to get Colonial to come to a commissioner's meeting to answer some questions. This week marks 11 months since it was all discovered. The leak, the cracked pipe, the now over 1.2 million gallons of gas recovered. Despite all the work out there, there's one big thing we've heard from people living nearby the Huntersville gas leak, that there are still some people not aware of what's happening in the ground beneath them. That's where this group comes in. Over the weekend, an environmental group known as the Sunrise Movement went to let those people know. We want to know, do people feel safe? Do they feel threatened? Um, do they feel indifferent? Hannah Stevens is with the organization's Charlotte Hub, and what we heard from her is something that many on both sides of the political spectrum are frustrated by, a seeming sense that the attention to the spill is slowly going away. The lack of transparency puts people at risk. It, it sort of exposed itself here. Fox 46 has seen for ourselves the changes over the last 11 months. The big worry isn't what you see above ground. It's below where the leaked gas is still being pumped out and as worries continue about well water quality. Colonial says there are no water wells that are contaminated. Huntersville Town Commissioner Stacy Phillips tells Fox 46 that Colonial needs to come back and answer more questions. I emailed and requested that they attend one of our August board meetings in writing and have yet to hear from them. So hopefully they take us up on at this time. Phillips says Colonial has since declined that invitation. Colonial, which has had to deal with a hack of their pipeline system, has highlighted the work they've done to make the Huntersville spill site safe. And last month, they came to an agreement with federal officials to look at leak detection across their entire 5,500 mile pipeline. Stevens says the group she's a part of wants to see more attention and action. And this hasn't just happened here, right? It's happened in Alabama, Georgia, Virginia. Now, there is a rally that is planned for the 25th at Veterans Park, and it's basically to get more people to know about the leak as well as telling them what they can do. Uh, by the way, uh, there is a, we might remember last week we told you about this agreement that the feds did have with Colonial in regards of uh, t taking advantage and also addressing a lot of the issues specifically in regards to leak detection system on the pipeline. That has nothing to do with a state investigation that is happening right now with the State Department of Environmental Quality, which is still continuing. Lindsay and Brian.